I mean, you mentioned local councils. Has that stood you in good stead during the recession, the fact that you're selling to the public sector? I think it has. I mean, we've been very fortunate that um, we've, we've almost gone on the crest of a wave. So we've put one gym in and another council sees it and says, oh, we like the look of that and we'll, we'll put one in and another council puts one in, etc. And we're up to about 65 sites now across the country. Um, and that includes at Camden Council, not too far from here, who put in 10 gyms in one go, so one in almost every one of their parks. And that's what we're finding. We're finding that councils now are going, this, you know, during a time of you know, economic difficulties when people maybe uh, don't have the money to go to a gym, um, they're saying, great, we'll invest, a little, we'll invest some money in an outdoor gym, we'll go to the Great Outdoor Gym Company, we'll get them to put a gym in there, and our local constituents, our local people can use the gym for free. So, you know, we've been very, very fortunate. And wh where do you expect the Great Outdoor Gym Company to be in five years' time? You talked about creating this big brand presence. Where do you see yourself? Well, we've been, uh, we've been very lucky to, uh, to work alongside um, Adidas. Um, and we're working with them at the moment on a project called Adizones, uh, which is our outdoor gym with an outside um, basketball, football area, street dance area, all in the shape of the 2012 logo. And we've been fortunate, fortunate enough to get investment from them and investment from, uh, from the government to roll out 36 of these initially um, throughout the country. But our target is 212 of these before the 2012 Olympics. Um, and, you know, I'd, I'd like Adizones and our outdoor gyms to be as commonplace as children's playgrounds. You know, what, what's really heartened me recently is I've taken, I've taken uh, two train trips um, up to Loughborough recently, and on the, on the train on the way back, I've seen our gyms. You know, I've looked out the window and gone, oh my God, there's one of our gyms. I've come into London and I've seen our gyms, you know, from a, from a you know, awareness point of view. That's fantastic to be able to drive around and just see our product you know, in parks all over the country. Um, that's where I want to be. Um, I also want to, you know, go on holiday to Spain and be walking down the beach and seeing our gyms there and seeing our gyms in parks over there, etc. You know, I want, that's what I want us to be about. I want us to be, you know, I want, I want outdoor gyms to be as commonplace as children's playgrounds that are in parks. Do you think there are particular characteristics or skills that entrepreneurs need? Um, well, I think they need to be resilient. Um, <laughs> that's for sure, because you do get your knockbacks. I mean, you, need, you, you absolutely have to believe in yourself, you have to believe in the product that you've got, and you have to believe in, the, in, in, in your company and your people around you as well. Um, because, you know, there are times when things get very difficult, and there are times when people will be telling you it's not going to happen, and there'll be times when people are saying to you, you know, this is rubbish, this is, you know, it's never going to work. And I think so long as you're not deluded and you're not delusional, um, you've got to keep that belief in yourself and you know, you've got to keep going. So I think, that, I think that's an absolute skill. And I think you've got to listen, you've got to listen to people, um, but ultimately you've got to make your own decision. You've got to be brave and you've got to say, this is the way I think things have got to go, this is the way I want things to go. I'll listen to what people have to say, but ultimately this is the direction we're going to go. Um, it's not easy then. Well Matt, best of luck with the business and thank you for talking to us today. It's been a pleasure.